Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I'm going to be planning the week of May 11th in my R. Estelle A5 Wide Cloud. This is my memory planner and these are the Erin Codron Vertical Neutral Binder pages which I have repunched to put into my cloud planner. I am really loving that. Uh, I have a full setup for this planner linked down in the description below and I will put it in the cards as well. And I'm gonna be using this kit from Sticker Bloom. So when I first hauled this, I said I really love the kit and the format, but I do just wanna warn you guys that her shipping takes forever, forever, forever. And she was really unresponsive. So I initially had said I wasn't gonna place another order with this shop, just just because of how long things took and I didn't find her very responsive when I like emailed her for an update because it was outside the order window time. Um, but I did actually go ahead and place another order. So giving her another shot. I just really love the paper. I really love the, uh, the format and she has like a really nice eye and it's a really low price point for a foiled kit. But yeah, I wasn't super happy with the customer experience, so we'll see if it's any better this time. I did just recently place another order. Anyways, this kit is called Hello Spring, and it is this really gorgeous floral kit with gold foil. Uh, it's like pretty light touch on some of the boxes, but I just think it looks so, so lovely. I've been really into foiled kits lately um, and not having to do the overlays, so. Uh, and then, Two of the page, it's a four page mini kit, two pages foiled, two pages unfoiled. So here is this sort of like little functional page and you get one set of headers, which I won't be using because I have a header add on, um, some boxes, a little bit of icons and some scripts. Uh, they're not foiled, which I do super wish they were foiled, but the font on them, well, the font or the lettering is really pretty. So I do like that. Uh, then sort of your functional page with your uh, half boxes and I don't love these appointment labels uh, with the dots. I kind of wish they didn't have them, but I do like the little bow ones and flags and whatever. I've pulled out some stuff from my collection as well. Then you have some solid washi, the bottom washi, which is really gorgeous with that foiling and the date covers, which I also really just love the font that she is using. And then I did get the header add on as well. So like I said, so her shop, it's like there's a price point, but then she always has a sale. It's just like one of those shops like Wild Summer Designs uh, and then somewhere between 50 and 60% off. So if you are going to order, I do recommend waiting for the, the discount to go up to 60% or sometimes she does like buy one, get one free or buy two get one free if you're getting the full kits this is just a mini kit but anyway i am going to pull out these pages and jump in so getting started with the date covers here and i used these from these date dots from harriet wright designs that have like the little bows on the corners they're very cute uh i think this kit is so lovely with the florals and everything and i i'm gonna try and there's like a couple of more subtle colors in the roses like a little bit of a peach and a yellow and i tried to pull in a little bit more of that peach with some of the washies that i chose but yeah i just think this is like i don't know it's really pretty and the the pink is like a very corally peachy pink uh, in here and then there's some regular softer pinks and I decided to pull in some stuff from Panda Bird Designs like some scallops and corner corner scallops and like half box scallops that I thought were really really pretty uh, and I was excited to use those I just got those which I had picked up in a recent group sale um so that was fun to try and pull some of that in I'm loving like all like the kind of layering and differently shaped stickers uh I feel like I'm not as amazing at using them as some other planner folks that I love but I am trying to like kind of mix it up a little and I think they add a little something special to the spread uh this was a very not busy week and it was just kind of like a chill week we did we spent a lot of time outside the weather was super super nice um um, and just really starting to feel like a little summery out a lot of these days but so we didn't really have too much going on and like on days when we're outside a lot I don't have like a ton to write down because we mostly just spend a lot of time outside whether that's like walking or we live across the street from like a really big field so I take the kids to run there and actually lately I've been uh I'll do like I make them race each other um, to, because it's like really hard to get my four-year-old to like do anything. But if you make it like a competition, then she wants to do it. So I try and get them to race each other and then they have to catch me when on their way back. But then I like kind of dodge out of the way, except for that my four-year-old is like incredibly fast and I am not incredibly fast. Uh, my husband was actually like a, 
a sprinter in high school and like had like you know they on a team that had won things and stuff so he's I mean he's fast for his size uh I mean like he's obviously not like a skinny teenager anymore and he's over six feet tall so people are generally surprised by how fast he is when we back when he was in grad school he used to like bait people into races which is this is like so dumb but it's also not that long ago it's only like five years ago five six years ago but anyway um good times but so I try and do that but then like my daughter can pretty much catch me she's very fast so maybe she'll be a sprinter too anyway uh that um, but my, my son is not he's like he's trying to keep up he's only two it's very cute but it's been fun for them and then it kind of like wears them out so we try and kind of wear out some of their energy outside um or make them like walk, running up and down the hills with me and then it's also like kind of a, a little bit of exercise for myself as well but yeah so we just spent like a ton of time outside uh this week and oh we washed the cars this weekend which was fun the kids had like so so much fun doing that it's so funny because like there's so many things that just seem like total chores and then if you like try and get your kids involved I don't know to them it's like not a chore like one there was one afternoon where we spent like two hours like scrubbing tables and windows and I didn't really even do that much I just sprayed I just was the sprayer and the kids the kids were the spongers that's that's what they called themselves and they had like such a good time and I was like who knew because I hate cleaning Uh, anyway I decided I wanted to use the extra marble full box so I put it at the bottom here and I just thought it looked really pretty so I actually on my sidebar this week I didn't give myself any journaling space and I which was actually fine I recorded this like way later than I usually do because usually I try and record the video the week later I know I'm like so behind on posting and editing and stuff but this one I was actually and uh, now I'm still I have like I think I have two or three weeks that have already happened that I haven't recorded. This is like the last spread that I recorded as of this voiceover. Um, anyway, this was, but I did still put the meals and just did like a little half box to mark that this was a week nine of everything going on. Uh, and I was originally going to just do a little journaling space and put the week nine on the marble box, but I just didn't want to ruin the really pretty marble. So I just decided I didn't, I could skip the journaling space this week. So I'm just sticking down this peachy, simply golden washi it's a five millimeter and it's got like the twinkly stars on it and then I'm gonna go into the day by day so on Monday I had my regular work thing and I marked that with one of these little corners from Panda Bird Designs uh these are new this is the first time that I'm using them and I absolutely love them I think they're so cute uh it did take me like a little bit of time to figure out exactly how I wanted to pair the laptop sticker with it uh and sort of layer that together and that laptop is from Artbox Stickers and uh my mom did come over as usual on Monday to help with the kids while I did my work um and then this week I was also still working on my like quarterly aspect of the regular weekly thing that I do so I just marked that a little bit separately in the box as well and then that ended up getting published midweek I didn't really have that much to mark on Monday uh that night I was like looking for stuff to watch on TV and I saw that uh Downton Abbey had been the HBO movie this week so I went ahead and watched that I just love that movie I like if you need like a really feel good movie I highly recommend that there's like so so little conflict in the movie it's just like all of your favorite characters doing their thing with like no conflict and like the stakes are so low and yet the movie is still so enjoyable my dad and I saw that movie in the theater originally together while he was visiting us in Texas uh, before we moved back here. And he said, like, I've literally, he's like, I thoroughly enjoyed that, but I've never, like, seen a movie where so little happens and it's still enjoyable. Um, But anyway, so, and the only other thing was that afternoon we ran the field and I marked that with the bill do uh, and I just covered up the bill do I love the format of those with like the darker color and the line and then the lighter color but I just wish they didn't say bill do so I just I used them like throughout the week and I just kind of covered up the script part um and I marked that with a hello petite paper sneaker uh and then on Tuesday I did like a little bit more work for my quarterly thing and we went on a really super long walk around the neighborhood and uh, in this neighborhood near us or in our neighborhood, I guess, like a few streets over, they had somebody had put out like a, like a, 
so many like hundreds and hundreds of pinwheels um and all of the like like three three or four blocks all around us had them everyone had them on their lawns but then they were just like left in the center of this like kind of five-way intersection um and you could just take them so I let the kids each take one and it was really fun and we had a really super long walk and it was really nice uh and then that day we also got some quotes to remove a tree uh or three trees from our new house uh we did some cleaning in the house and then that evening we actually had like a cousin's zoom um my mom and my aunts and uncles on that side of my family and all of our cousins and we live like kind of all over the place most of them are on the west coast actually um and some in boston and and then here um, but it was fun uh and it was like a little bit chaotic with everybody and yeah uh and also like a slightly depressing just hearing about all this stuff but it was also fun and it was like nice to see everyone uh and then on Wednesday we had a lot of outside time in the morning like I said the weather this week was just absolutely beautiful uh and then this day was the day that I published the or finished finished and published the uh the work for the quarterly so that was all done so that's always a load off when it's finished because then I don't have to think about it for three months uh and my daughter also had her school zoom on Wednesday so they have been her like she's in the in the threes class this year she's four now but so actually um there's like one more left I think but they've been having like show and tell on zoom once a week which has been kind of nice um and then that uh, afternoon, I watched The Good Witch, which is a really feel-good show on the Hallmark. Uh, I think it's from the Hallmark Channel. I'm not 100% sure, but I absolutely love it. It's on Netflix. And I painted my nails. I did some reading, and I took a bath. So just a lot of my favorite relaxing things all together in the evening and in the afternoon, like nap time slash after afternoon since my, or evening since my work was all done and I didn't have to worry about that. So just had a really nice relaxing time. And I was just trying to fit all of those different things in. Uh, and I was like kind of struggling with how to fit them all in. Um, but I did, I managed to squeeze them all in there. I really like those one eighth size boxes, which I guess are like essentially the size of a little thing, but they've got like the white space on the inside to write um, and they don't have an icon that you have to cover up. So that is kind of fun. Like I said, there's like a lot of cool things in this kit uh, and I didn't use any of the labels that had the dots on them, which I don't know why I was like so mad at those, but like I probably could have used them, but that's totally fine. I like the way that the build do, build dos are formatted better, even though I don't like that they say build do and that I had to cover that up, but I did really like them. And I also, uh, just grabbing some washi there to finish filling that one. Cause I had a script. Uh, the script is from our box stickers. That TV is from magic Prince co. Let me see what else. The, the book with the bow is from Harriet Wright designs. Uh, and that bathtub is from Crafts by Towie. Uh, so I like always use pretty much the same shops for foil icons. I have like a bunch of different ones and they're all linked down in the description below. If you ever want to know where a specific s sticker is from and I didn't mention it, definitely just leave a comment and I will uh, let you know and I do try and tag everything on Instagram as well. So then on Thursday, I think I didn't sleep that well maybe the night before and I just marked like uh, give me coffee and I used that little coffee cup from Rose, uh, Rose and Tea Shop and then that coffee script is from our box stickers. And then my husband went to the office on this day to, he was like dealing with this kind of legal situation at work. Um, not like his, he, like his work situation. Anyways, he had to have like a lot of calls with like clients and with lawyers and stuff. So he was just going in because toddlers are not capable of being quiet on demand. Anyways, so I am using one of these half scallops from Panda Bird Designs and some of them I used like facing this way and some of them I flipped upside down. Um, I really like them both ways. I think they're really cute, uh, but it's hard for me to use so many half boxes because I usually have too many things to mark. So I need like uh, more tiny stuff. Uh, and then this day I went over to the new house and we did like a bunch of different things over there. I had taken the kids over there with me just to hang out and play outside. Uh, I got some more tree quotes and we met our neighbors on the other side while we were outside. And we just like, uh, 
ran outside and played and all different stuff. And it was super fun until my daughter like fell into a cactus and got like all the prickles in her hand. And then she's only four and it was like really hard to get them out. And then she was really upset. And uh, we actually didn't like I missed one, I guess, and then I couldn't get her to hold still to take it out. It was all, it was a whole thing. And like we live in Pennsylvania, we never had any problems with cacti when we lived in Texas, but somehow in Pennsylvania we get a, cac a cactus in injury. Anyway, I have since had the lawn people remove them. But so then this is actually our Saturday that I'm putting down on Friday, and I do eventually realize that and move it over. But on Saturday, and I will get back to Friday, uh, my husband did our grocery shopping. He went to Wegmans, which is a little bit further from our house, but it's a much nicer grocery store. And he's been going every other week to stock up for two weeks of groceries. And that's been working really well for us uh, right now. So we've been doing that. And he also... I requested that he bring back donuts. I was just like really craving them. So he brought back donuts from the grocery store and they were actually like really super good. So we had fun eating those. And then we went over to my parents' house uh, that day and uh, just like hung out in their backyard and all that good stuff. And I actually uh, cut, uh, did haircuts again for, um, I think, I was, think just my dad, but I'm not, maybe my husband too. I don't remember. Uh, in their backyard, we brought the clippers over so that I could do that for him. And we also washed the cars, which was really, the kids had so much fun washing the cars. Uh, we washed like all our, our car and uh, my dad's car. And it was just, it was a fun time. And that car sticker is also from Rose and Tea. I'm like super obsessed with all of her little doodles right now. And those scissors are from Hello Petite Paper. And then that evening we made some cocktails. My husband had bought Bloody Mary mix uh, in like individual cans because I really like Bloody Marys and he doesn't at the grocery store. So I had one of those and that drink is from Crafts by Towie. And then I realized that I put all of Saturdays, like I literally planned all of Saturday onto Friday. So I'm just using undo to lift it up and move it over. Uh, if you don't know, undo is like this uh, really harsh smelling magic chemical that li allows you to like lift stickers up perfectly and then stick them back down so it like takes them off perfectly it does not leave any damage on the paper it doesn't damage the sticker it even works on like foil stickers and you can pull things off really easily but it like leaves the stickiness of the sticker intact somehow I don't know uh how that works but anyway so you can just like move everything over or peel something up if you make a mistake but you'll still be able to use the sticker and you can just get it on Amazon and it smells so bad like the worst kind of like chemically nail polish remover -y smell you can imagine, but it works really, really well. Uh, so anyway, so I use that to slide all of my stickers over to the next day. Honestly, don't know what I would have done if that wouldn't have been. I would have had to like draw arrows on the days because it's no way I would have been able to pull all that stuff up without, <laughs> without undo. So anyway, on Friday, my mom came over to help with the kids and we spent pretty much like the whole day outside. So I used this little label and then put a Clever Gal Crafts heart on top of that to mark that. And I just grabbed a half box and another Hello Petite Paper shoe um, to mark that we were just like outside literally all day. Actually, I mean, honestly, this whole week, we just spent so much time outside. Uh, it was just really, really nice. And that also, I feel like helps with the kids and their behavior and just makes things, everything is just easier when we can be outside um, and when the weather is nice. And then uh, my husband had to go back into the office uh, on Friday as well, but just for a half day, so I marked that with like a little panda bird corner scallop and a laptop, which is how I work, marked a lot of different work things this week. And then I just marked some reading. Uh, this was probably like my most unbusy day of the week. It was just like pretty chill and reading, hanging out, etc. And then on Sunday, I did uh, f do some filming, which I'm putting down. This is, I sometimes have to do this to just like try and space things out to make sure they fit or like that I can prioritize, but I'm going out of order here. So anyway, I uh, filmed and then um, we also just spent a lot of time outside. Um, my husband also mowed the lawn and we just played and ran on the field and all that kind of good stuff again, all outside time. Uh, and then that afternoon, my daughter had woken up early from her nap or never napped and we let her out early and we had she and I had like a little tea party on our table so I used a teacup from rose and tea where I had real tea and then she had just like hot water with a little lemon and honey and we I made like tea sandwiches and stuff it was really cute and 
I was a, just super delicious as well. And my, uh, my mother-in-law also came over to see us and we had a whole roast leg of lamb for dinner, which is why my mother-in-law came over, uh, which is why we invited her over to have that with us as well. And then I'm just finishing up putting some washi down, um, and just getting this all fixed up. And I think I'm going to fill this out. Uh, did I fill out once? Uh, No, I, I filled this out. I switched. I used to fill out like Monday through Wednesday and then Thursday through Sunday but lately I've been planning the whole week out and then filling it out and just also trying to go like really slow with my writing and make it super neat but I it's I'm working on it it's hard to write under the camera sometimes uh I feel like stuff comes out kind of neater when I write off camera but I do I don't know I like watching people write so I don't know if (laughs) if you like it or not but I just leave it on camera and I've been just working on like going a little bit slower and and just to like try out different uh like fonts or whatever you call it letterings I guess is what you call it when it's not um yeah when it's not from a computer and you're writing it. But that is pretty much everything for this week. Uh, I hope you are all staying well and staying sane and safe and enjoying some nicer weather. And I guess it depends on where you are because we just looked and apparently it's like over 100 degrees in Austin, which is where we used to live before we moved back east. So, you know, staying cool if if you are in Texas. Um, But anyway, that is everything all finished up for this week. Okay, that is everything finished up. I absolutely love how this looks. I did just grab like a couple of little foil deco pieces to finish that up off camera. Uh, I did all of my writing this week in a Pigma Micron 03. Let me show you what I have left from the kit really quick. Um, So I did use a good chunk of the foil headers. I have like a bunch of this page left. I used all of the full boxes and I do have some boxes left. I pulled in a lot of stuff from my stash and I didn't really like the white dots given like the delicacy of the flowers. I think on another kit I would totally like that just fine. But anyway, that is everything. So if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye!